for some time walking back and forth. What's a cyclic quadrilateral? I'm drawing inside a circle. Mm -hmm. That it touches all the edges. Is it, that's inside the circle, but that is not a cyclic quadrilateral. So it's made up of chords. That oh, can... that's a good way to describe it. A cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral whose four points are on a circle. That's a cyclic quadrilateral. Any triangle, any triangle at all, even one like this, is cyclic. There is a single unique circle that goes through all three points. But I could put the fourth point anywhere. It need not be on the circle. So some quadrilaterals are cyclic. I can draw a circle touching all four corners, but not all. If you have a cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite angles are supplementary. I wrote that word yesterday. What does supplementary mean? Olivia, did you write it down? Oh, no. Okay, found it. No? Go on, Eddie. They add up to 180. They add up to 180 degrees. Yes, okay, 180 degrees. So, oh man, I have to draw myself. I'm going to put a lot of angles in this one, so it's a nice large diagram. Do not draw a square. Do not draw a rectangle. Don't trick your brain into thinking they're equal. Trick your brain instead into thinking they can't possibly be the same as each other. Short side, longer side, weird side. Well, that looks a bit like a trapezium. Let me go different. Let me go like that. Does it look more like a trapezium? A little more, I think. A little more. Let me go like this. Here we are. Looks nice and weird. Center. O. A. B. C. D. And guess what we're going to do? Four you might want to do all of them to, together. Draw in the radii, label the angles. I have just made four isosceles triangles. So let's call them W, X, Y, Z. I can only do this because it's cyclic. What do the, all the angles inside a quadrilateral have to add up to? Claire? All the angles inside a quadrilateral, what do they have to add up to? Correct! So that means W plus W plus X. Oh, sorry, that was W plus Z. Z plus W plus W plus X plus X plus Y plus Y plus Z has to be 360. It's going to be the same kind of arguments we had before. Same as this one. 2w plus 2x plus 2y plus 2z is 360. That means they must all add up singly. w plus x plus y plus z must add up to 180. Now I can group these different ways. I can go W plus X 
plus y plus z must be 180 degrees, which means um, angle ABC must, sorry, plus angle ADC must add to 180 degrees. Those opposite angles are supplementary. But I could also, if I preferred, group them the other way. Or, or and, let me go and. Um, w plus Z, and then over there, X plus Y are 180 degrees. Therefore, angle DAB must equal angle DCB. You do know, and you used in the revision yesterday, another rule involving opposite angles of a quadrilateral. Do you remember the one about parallelograms? Not like if you split it up into two triangles. No, I mean this one. Do you remember this rule? which means this angle equals that angle and this angle equals that angle in a parallelogram. So a parallelogram has to have opposite angles equal. Can I have a cyclic parallelogram? Yes. If? It's a square. Correct. The only time I can have a cyclic Parallelogram, actually technically a rectangle, is when all the angles are 90 degrees. Because then they will be equal and adding up to 180 degrees. It's just a consequence of this. But not the rule we're doing next.